My name is Steve Arpin. We're sitting here at Eddie Sharp Racing in Denver, North Carolina. We're driving the number 20 Arca Remax car this year for him. Well, it's, it's been a long venture for us, for sure. Uh, we've been racing all sorts of things the past couple of years. Uh, originally from Canada, we started racing go-karts when I was about 10 years old and moved up into the dirt modified ranks and we've been doing everything from snowmobiles, uh, dirt modified, bathtub boats even raced a couple of times. And this year we started in the, in the USAC Silver Crown Series, some CRA late model races, some dirt late model races, a little bit of everything this year. So, you know, the first time I raced a go-kart, I remember, and I'll never forget this till the day I die, my favorite memory I'd have to say is when we were loaded up in the back of my dad's truck and we were driving home from Rainy River, Ontario, and I'm beating them on the shoulder. I'm in the seat right behind them. I said, Dad, Dad, can we do this? I want to do this every week for the rest of my life. I want to do this every week. And he said, if you work, he told me right then, if I work hard enough, I'll be able to do it. And, and now we're fortunate enough to be sitting here today and we'll be going to Daytona tomorrow afternoon testing. In the dirt modified racing, we've, honestly, we've won most of the big shows across the country now. We've we, try and, we don't really chase any points in that. We try and venture to as many big shows as we can. We've been really successful there. Uh, this year we were actually, it was our first year in the USAC Silver Crown Series driving for RE Technologies. We ended up winning Rookie of the Year in that series. Uh, had a couple really good runs in the CRA late models. Uh, snowmobile racing, we were a Polaris Factory rider for the Polaris Factory. And uh, we won eight world championships racing snowmobiles when I was younger too. There's, there's tons of opportunities out there right now for young drivers. And honestly, like you look around the shop here, this is the best place to be in my eyes. We've looked at a ton of different things. Eddie Sharp Racing, he's the perfect team owner. He's a, he's a, he's a racer at heart. He knows what it takes to win. He'll do what it takes to win. Uh, he's so motivated. He's, he's a guy that goes to work every day that loves what he does. He absolutely loves his job. I don't really think it's really intimidating here that much. It's, it's good equipment. I'm a race car driver and I want to win races in the absolute worst way. And for me to win races, I want to be in the best equipment possible to get me that opportunity. And so it's more so exciting for me than intimidating. Uh, as far as the past success here, there's definitely big shoes to fill. Scott Speed was here last year, Michael McDowell, uh, Craig Ghost is going to be in the, in the two car. And so we're going to have a great team, great teammates. and. I don't think it's really intimidating that much more so exciting though. My, my dream in racing, my goals at the, end of the, at the end of my career, I want to drive my cup car first in line uptown New York City. <laughs> that's just what I want to do. I think that's the coolest thing in the world. And I want to be the absolute best racer I can be. If I was a hockey player, I'd want to be the absolute best hockey player I could be. And to be the best, you got to race against the best. And in my eyes, the best racers in the country are at the cup level. And that's where we're going to be someday.